Oh, it was sunny. Whoa! Five explorers right now. Um, well, can't get them out, guys. I don't guess you get to see them. <laughs> What's up guys? Wesley Wilson, PDGA number 92088. I'm gonna give you guys an updated in the bag cart. Um, so I've represented uh, Team Trilogy for a couple years now and now I'm gonna be representing Team 1010 Discs as well. So this will be an all Trilogy bag and most of these discs came from 1010discs.com. So with my putty putters, I'm throwing keystones. Keystones are amazing. They stay straight for me. I spin putt and they don't really deviate, no turning, not a lot of fade at the end. Uh, they're not really even starting to break left until it gets about 40 feet. And that's why I love the keystone. I throw the keystone as well. It's a very straight putter if you throw it like a putter. If you try to kill it like a driver, it's going to turn over for you. But if you put it on a little hyzer and give it a slight nose up, it's popping up and gliding and it's going to go dead straight for you on a rope. It's a great great approach to this. Um, harps, they do harp things. Everybody likes harps. If you don't, just turn the video off. Um, it's for hyzers. Throw it flat, it's going to hyzer. You throw it on anhyzer, at some point it's going to start to hyzer. <laughs> uh, I love the harp. The VIP plastic is great um, for durability and it's pretty. I mean, come on guys. This is also a harp. But it's an Origio harp and it's very beat in and it goes much, much straighter than that and it doesn't want to turn. So it's probably going to be thrown in my windy shots where I would want to throw the keystone. But if it's headwind, this disc is going to behave like a keystone when there's no wind. My mids, I love compasses. I got a flippy compass, it's a couple years old, hyzer flip, turnover. I've got a straight compass, hyzer flip to flat slight drift to the right it's coming back down about 360 uh, this one as well 360 375 it's recycled though so it's got that extra glide I love this disc uh, hyzer flip to flat and it just just penetrates stay going forward and forward it just goes about 20 feet further than the other ones for some reason. and it doesn't want to turn then I have Opto X this Opto X compass is a lifesaver it's so good for little flick approaches it can handle the torque of the forehand it's just something about a mid-range shot. I like throwing mids and putters. Um, another amazing mid-range is that Justice right there. If you haven't thrown a Justice, what are you doing with your life? The Justice is amazing. Uh, it can handle any headwind. I don't, I've never thrown it into a headwind that it, it couldn't fight back from. It's really good for um, pitching down, hard packed ground and stuff, and, and getting those little flare skips. I like that shot. Uh, it's really good for letting it, just ripping it flat into a headwind and just knowing that it's going to just go dead straight and then that just glideless fade that, it, that the Justice has and the ground stay there. <clears throat> so fairways, um, explorers man, explorers, explorers, explorers. So you're probably familiar with the Lucid Maverick. I throw an explorer for that shot because I have some very beat in recycled explorers that are incredibly flippy and they are money. I'm talking about little hyzers that pop up and just ride over to the right and sit down flat. Um, I have an Opto X, a Chameleon Explorer. Super beat in, it's flat, it's better grip on a forehand for me if it's a flat disc. So it's the same as that, but opposite direction. If I'm throwing a forehand that I just, for some reason I need it to pop up and break left late and settle down flat, this is what I'm reaching for. I have an Opto Explorer that I will hit hard out to about 375 or 400 feet <clears throat> on a hyzer and just watch it climb. It doesn't really flip up to flat or flip over, but it'll flip up to flat, gradually climb, and then start to fade left. It's an incredibly domey Opto Explorer. I have a couple more just like it. I have an Opto X Explorer here from last year, 2017, uh, 2018. Um, hyzer on a forehand hyzer because it's flat or a backhand hyzer it's, it's comfortable as well it just doesn't have the glide of that one so it's a little bit more reliable uh, in my opinion and then I have this new 29, uh, 2019 Emerson Keith Opto X Explorer super super consistent overstable 
amazing disc, um, about 375 hyzers, just pure hyzers. This, this thing is amazing. Um, inside of there, I have utility disc here, my Pioneer, <coughs> basically my Explorer for headwind, or some people call them trick shots. So this one's about a hair more overstable than my OptoX Explorer. Um, I really just use this for forehands. It's very, very comfortable width on that rim. I just like it for forehand shots, backhand hyzer shots. Um, this one's newer. It's a little more overstable and probably a little prettier because that's natural swirl. I had to dye the other one to make it pretty. This one's amazing looking. You probably can't see it on the camera. But this one's just a little more overstable than that one. And then uh, this one is just super overstable. The SE Pioneers are so stable. This is amazing for thumbers. I love throwing thumbers with this disc, and it's super skippy. Just that big flare. You can see the flight plate of the disc once it skips. Next, I have Ballista Pros. Everybody knows what Ballista Pros do, right? These things are awesome. Um, this one's very beat in. It's going to turn over. I can throw it on a flat roller, or I can throw it hyzer flip, and it's going to turn way over to the right, and it's going to come back down flat, kind of like that Recycled Explorer, except for this one's going like 450 to 500. This one's this is a, my bomber disc right here. Next up is going to have a slight turn to it. It's a 167 Clemenade, Chris Clemens uh, Opto Blister Pro. Hyzer flip to turn to come back to the middle. This one is still very stable. It's a very domey, really stiff gold line burst Ballista Pro, max weight. And I'm throwing this one on just big hyzers. It's not coming all the way up and coming out of them. It's just popping up and riding. It's got that dome. My recoils are my, <clears throat> basically my Explorers past 400. Um, this one's kind of beat in and it's a first run opto and I, I throw this one on hyzers that I want they flip up it might coast a little I wouldn't quite call it turning it just kind of drifts slightly and then starts coming back slightly left of that center line um, uh, the prototype is about the same uh, not quite as far it gets a little further left than the blue one and then this one's new this is an opto metal flake it's, it's orange with red and silver metal flakes in it I love this thing uh, it's heavy, it's very domey, it's really stiff, um, so good for hyzers. It's, it's my headwind recoil right now. I love this disc. Um, I can throw this thing about 400 feet into a headwind, maybe a little further. Uh, and this thing is, it's awesome. So um, everybody should keep a bottle of water. I keep about five because I'm thirsty. I like to keep a chamois, like a real uh, sheepskin chamois because there's nothing gets drops of water water uh, drops of water off plastic like one of those does it's like it just squeezes it off it's it's amazing well I wanted to land right here more specifically, like right in there somewhere, but it turns out that's hard.